Now I want y'all to watch this fight. And I'm going to tell you why Terrence Crawford will not fight Kell Brook and Udonis Ugas. Both of those guys are very patient and deliberate. And they both have good jabs. Now this is a guy with a halfway decent jab. Benavidez, his jab is nowhere on Ugas level or Kell Brook level. But he was able to give Terrence Crawford problems. This guy was very this guy had one leg, but he had a jab and he was very patient. And he gave Crawford a lot of problems because he was patient and he had a good jab. Nowhere near as good as Kell Jab, Kell Brook Jab or Ugan, um or Ugas Jab. But good enough to keep Terrence Crawford honest. Terrence Crawford do not like a person to sit back. And work behind their jam. So he's not going to pick Kell Brook, and he's not going to he's not going to fight Ugas. Now look all the people that he fought. He he have never fought a person with a good jab. If they got a decent jab, they go twelve rounds. He don't get them out there. He like people that just start coming straight in. And this guy was able to get a lot of shots off behind his jab. And I believe a damage, a damage, as damaged as they say Kell Brook is, he will get a lot of sh shots off against Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford is not the perfect fighter as his team like this, like this, like, you know, as his fans say. He have a lot of flaws in his games like everybody. There's no perfect fighter. Except for Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather might have been a perfect fighter. But Terrence Crawford can be, he, you can get out on him. And two things, another thing that he don't like, he don't like movement. He don't like a lot of movement. Because if you got, if you got the, if you got, Keith Thurman is and and Sean Porter got a lot of movement and he don't like that either. And they not moving forward all the time, coming straight on a, in a straight line. So when you can pull counter or use your jab, his his jab is not going to really be be that effective against Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman ain't coming forward. He ain't nowhere around the jab. He's all over the ring and and he's and he got a high IQ. He he going he he know your jab is coming, so he's going to be moving on the opposite side of your jab to make before he can come up, come over top of it, slip under it, counter it, catch it, and do all kind of things. He he's that's the type of person Keith Thurman is. He got a got a high IQ, and he got power. And that's why a lot of people gave. That's why a lot of people gave. Um, Spencer's props because they were like, yo, that was a crazy fight to be asking for with 15 fights and 14 fights. And that was a 50-50 fight. At first I was picking um I was picking um I was I was I was picking Keith Thurman in that fight against Earl Spence. But I was like, yeah, that's kid crazy. But as as Keith Thurman started denying the fight, saying he don't want the fight, I started going more towards Spence. I say confidence. Earl Spence got him, but what he want and what who I'm talking about is is um, Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford won a big payday. You know, I I don't blame him. He won a pick. He won a big payday with Manny Pacquiao or Earl Spence. Those is he at the end of his career. He's at he's in the twilight of his career. He in his mid thirties. He's not. He don't want to fight for the rest of his life. So I I don't I don't mind him. Avoiding some of these fights. That's what he want to do. Hey, man. That's what he want to do. That's his career, not my career. I got to maximize my career. I just make boxing videos, point things out. Don't have nothing personal against the guy. But this is why he don't want to fight um, Kel Brook or Ugas. It's because of their jab. And as you can see right here, this jab right here, and this is, this is, a, this is not a, this is an average jab. And... You, if he was getting off on Terrence Crawford with one foot, and he's a damaged guy, and um, Benavidez was damaged, way more damaged than Brook, but they fought him, and he didn't have no title. 
They fought Amir Khan. He's damaged. He don't have no title. They fought the Green Machine. He don't have no fucking title. It's just that you can't. You got to be honest. And he's not a perfect. He's not this perfect fighter. That his fans, but his fans is filled with estrogen, and they're emotional, and they blinded by love. And a lot of them could be homosexuals. I don't know. I'm not gonna say that they are, but they 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 move around. They move around like they 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 on some 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 moisture, some moisturizing type of shit, some zesty on some zesty type shit. But this is the reason why they he don't want to fight these type of guys, man. He's playing it safe to get the big paydays out of um, Earl Spence and Manny Pacquiao. And that's why he don't want to fight these type of guys, man. They give him problems. As you can see, he ain't going off on this guy because this guy, Benavidez, got one leg and he's coming in behind a stick. And you can see him moving Terrence Crawford back. And you can see Terrence Crawford took a whole lot of time to figure him out. He he knew he was only going to come one way because he, he couldn't move only one way because his foot was blown off. What if his foot was blown off? So he only can fight behind. He only can fight one way, and he still was giving Terrence Crawford a hell of a fight, and that's the truth. And what Stone Cold Steve Austin said, and that's the bottom line.